Uh, recently, there's been uh, a lot of news, a lot of talk, kind of about what they're calling whitewashing in movies. You know, you got Christian Bale now playing Moses. So I woke up this morning with uh, some kind of half exciting, half depressing news. And that was the fact that we found out that Scarlett Johansson has signed on to play Major Motoko Kusanagi in a live action film about Ghost in the Shell. One of my favorite shows ever, one of my favorite movies ever, one of my favorite characters in all of the anime. And uh, Scarlett Johansson is one of my favorite actresses. So this sounds awesome. It sounds perfect. And then it dawned on me, Kusanagi is Japanese. The thing that shocked me about this is, it, it isn't that um, that popped into my head, uh, was the fact that I was defending on the opposite side of this argument about James Bond being played by a black guy, Idris Elba, and again, one of my favorite actors. And I think he could be really awesome as James Bond. And I was complaining that other people were complaining that Bond is white and he should only be played by white people. Again, he's a fictional character. Kusanagi is a fictional character. I'm on both sides here. I want uh, Idris Elba to play Bond. And I was yelling at the people who were bitching that Bond was now gonna be black. And now here I am, bitching, kind of bitching, right? I still wanna see Scarlett Johansson as Kusanagi. I mean, I would love that. But at the same time, I'm kind of complaining again that it's going to the wrong race. I mean, just looking at it, looking at it like on paper, if I wrote that down, it seems like the exact same argument, but I'm taking separate sides. Except that you're forgetting the environment that Hollywood lives in, where they do not believe that a film can be carried by anybody other than a white guy and that is a problem and that's the reason why these two are different why it's okay for Bond to be played by different races because white actors have been dominant over here for decades it is setting a new precedent if Idris Elba plays Bond and he is successful that means that black characters or black actors can carry a role and as much as I love Scarlett Johansson, I would love to see her in this movie. Why can't they cast an Asian actress? Why can't they just take that risk and change like the, the landscape of movies? The amount of money that they think that they can lose by casting an Asian actress in this kind of outweighs you know, their drive to, to kind of solve a social problem, right? And that's understandable. I understand it, you know. People's attitudes have to change, but they can't just change by doing the same thing over and over again. Somebody has to take that step. It has to start somewhere. You can't just sit there and wait for audiences to suddenly accept like a minority in the lead role. You have to convince them. Something has to come around and be successful. That is how everything changes. You, you don't just suddenly wait and all of a sudden you, the polls change and like, oh, audiences are finally ready for an Asian actress or an Asian actor in a lead role. No, they are convinced because somebody goes out and does it. You need to find a studio, you need to find somebody that is willing to you know, fight for the characters. What happened with Avatar? <laughs> like, oh my God. You have a director like M. Night Shyamalan, Bing Bong, and he didn't give a shit, like I was, he should have cared about it. Like, he, he liked the show, and yet every single actor was wrong for their part. I mean, why am I complaining about that? <laughs> that, uh, him. Nobody really cares about that anymore. It's like kind of complaining about uh, Uwe Ball, you know, casting, you know, all white people. Like, who gives a shit? Like, his. <laughs> really, we're gonna complain about. That's the one thing we're gonna complain about? Not that he is so licensed to make every single video game movie out there. The thing that kind of, the reason why I'm making this video is kind of because I was hit by that. That I was kind of uneasy about 
Scarlett Johansson, you know, a white blonde woman playing Kusanagi, a Asian inspired, you know, character. Yet I had no problem with a, a black character playing Bond. And I kind of thought, I mean, I knew the answer why, <laughs> but it, it's kind of interesting to think about it. Um, but also I was thinking about the fact that if Bond or say the Avengers, Iron Man, was made in Japan, they would be casting all Asian actors. And then <laughs> maybe there'd be some, like a guy over in Japan or, or somewhere that they're saying like, oh, why can't you cast, you know, white people in these roles? You know, we'll go see it. <laughs> but it's the same thing. You know, every cult, culture right now, every country is, you know, attracted by people who they think are similar. You know, there's a, the progressive among us, like in, in America, I think a lot of people are, who don't really care. They don't see, like, uh, a problem with having, you know, a huge, diverse cast in, in anything. But uh, companies don't see it that way. There is a large part of the country that just feels comfortable around, you know, their own color. Uh, and that's too bad. I want that to change. But at the same time, I want to see Scarlett Johansson in Ghost in the Shell. Ah. Uh, damn it. Uh, so thanks for listening, guys. And uh, stay tuned.